And I just want a question. Go ahead. Well, I guess I'm interested in fundamentally for me is who Jesus is and what do we do with him. That's what I want to do. I would like to read uh, from Genesis chapter 1 and John chapter 1 because there's no contradiction in both. And it talks about God, the Holy Spirit, and the Word of God. Okay? We all know Genesis chapter 1, verse 1 says, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God, capital S, was hovering over the waters. This is the very beginning at the foundation of the earth. And now I will read from John chapter 1. In the beginning was the Word, Word with the capital W, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him, all things were created. Without Him, nothing was made that has been made. So to me, it's very clear at the beginning of Genesis and the beginning of John, Jesus was there right at the beginning with the Holy Spirit. So I think for us, I think we can debate until the cows come home, but the question is, who is Jesus and what do we do with him? You read from Genesis chapter 1, 1 through 4, and then you read what's called John's prologue, which is John, really is John chapter 1, verse 1 through 18. You read the first three verses of John chapter 1, then you went to verse 14. And just to those of you who've never read the prologue, if you get to verse 17, we discover who that word is, and it's Jesus. I could not possibly have made a better case that there is no relationship between the book of John and the book of Genesis than you did. There is nothing in the book of Genesis about a word that became flesh or that a word was a God. Now, if it's in Genesis chapter 1, we'd all be very interested in it. So what we're finding is that in John, we have a word, in Greek, the logos. And that logos was, a, was, a, was with God, and that logos was a God. And that logos became flesh. Great. So now I say to you, I'll go with that. Let's now go back to the book of Genesis, chapter 1, and let's see if we have any mention of a word that isn't there. Do we have any mention in Genesis chapter 1 of a word was with God? And the answer is, it doesn't exist. Do we have anything mentioned in Genesis chapter 1 that that word was God? It doesn't exist. Is there anything in Genesis chapter 1 that that word became flesh? It just isn't there. I, I probably have offended some people. What am I going to do? What you've done is you've illustrated, crystallized, that the book of John is an improvement on the book of Genesis. That they are not, they don't comport with each other, not the same, but rather we have now an interpolation of a word which became flesh. Now, if the word became flesh is in Genesis chapter one, I would say you've made the point, but you're saying, you're like advertising that John chapter 1 is adding to the Word of God. And the Torah says in Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 2 that you cannot add nor take away. And frankly, if, 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 if the book of John is doing that, uh, which I don't think it is, incidentally, I think that uh, whoever wrote the, the prologue was taking his, or his cues from, from Philo than anything else. But um, the point is that these ideas are not in Genesis chapter 1. If they were, the only thing in Genesis chapter 1 is in the beginning. That's it. And then from there, John goes in a direction that's found nowhere in the Jewish Bible. And I, I say this to you. If it said that in the book of Genesis, that the word became flesh, and what we find in verse 17 and 18, if it was in Genesis, I'd be in church with you side by side. The reason why Jews are not in churches is because there's nothing like what we find in John, and particularly the prologue, which is the most heightened and exalted expression of what's called Christology, 
We find nothing like that in the Jewish Bible. Moreover, we don't even find anything like that in the Synoptic Gospels. Adon Olah, Asher Malach, B'terem Kol, Yetzir Nivra, Let Nasa, B'chev Tzokor, Azai Melech, Azai Melech, Shemu Nikra, ואחרי כפלות הכל לבדו ימלוך נוער ווואר